Hello everybody, it is the Wonderful Waffle here, doing the second A Spasm Into. And as you can see today, we are playing Chime. So let's just jump on in. This is a game that has a lot to do with rhythm and music, and is actually the second game that I ever got on Steam. The first being Sid Meier's Civilization V, which is still another great game and I have not played this in like over a year and I just I, I've barely played this but it's a really good game so let's just go right in to time mode and let's see we'll do a quick we'll do a six minute one we'll just start out with Philip Glass so basically, we're creating quads, which is squares. It's it, it's kind of like Tetris in a way. You'll you'll see. So you place blocks like this. You press right click to change, and then you try to get them to line up. I was never good at Tetris. So I don't know why I would be good at this, because I'm not. But basically, that white line, is, it's, it's very fast paced. So, that white line that passes, when it passes through quads that you have, which is when you have squares, or I think maybe rectangles, I don't know, I can't remember. It's like there, we got a quad there, and then that gets you points and see if you can keep your multiplier going it will keep giving you points it's actually one of the best multipliers I've ever had as you know I've not played this much at all I think I might lose it here yeah I lost that but that was a pretty good quad I had there so basically you keep doing this so after the white line passes that, that will become a regular one where you can place, that will just go back to being regular squares where you can place blocks in it again. So yeah, it's, it's a very simple concept, but it's very fun. And you could see how it kind of reminds you of Tetris, but not as the same mechanic as Tetris, but not the same, like, it doesn't have, like, a time limit or the blocks, like, falling like that. But it still has how you're supposed to try to fit your blocks together. So, yeah. Um, it's a very quick game, and as you can see, I just lost my multiplier, because I didn't get any quads in in the time so then it goes back to me pretty much starting from the beginning as you can see you get a lot of like blocks that you can't really fit many things into so like when you get these it plays like notes of the song so yeah, this is pretty much Chime, and of course they have tons of levels, different modes, like I think they have like a infinite mode where pretty much you just keep going, like as you can see we picked the six minute one, so we just play this for six minutes. Now, um, just as a warning, I'm sorry to any, well it's pretty late for a warning, but I'm sorry to anyone that's like, likes Tetris and that kind of games. I am absolutely horrible at those kinds of fit shapes in spots with other shapes kind of games. I am horrible with them. So I'm sorry to anybody <laughs> that has to watch me just completely be just terrible at this game. And you can see you get like coverage bonuses and stuff like that, which I have absolutely no idea what they mean. But I'm sure it's a good thing.
as you can see, you might get like lucky, and you might get a block that just fits into that odd space in between, like in the middle, like I did there. So, let's try to keep this multiplier going. And as you, this is just like a quick uh, announcement kind of thingy. Seem to be in a lot of my videos recently. But as you may, ah, oh, lost my multiplier. I don't know if that's over just like over just time or if it's you don't get a quad in like an amount of time. I don't know how that exactly works. So anyway, as you know, well as you may know if you saw the last episode of Prince of Persia, which should go out, which should have gone out the day before this is uploaded, if everything goes correctly. So. Um, and then you know that my Prince of Persia totally, like, um, crapped out, and it's not working. So, I don't know what's going on there, but it's just not working. I've tried, like, everything. It is just, it's gone. So, unfortunately, the Prince of Persia, um, playthrough is ending. So, I'm going to be starting up a new Let's Play series. Now, I'm not completely sure which game I am going to play yet, but I I'm probably going to actually record it after I finish recording this. Um, and I don't know, because I bought, recently on Steam there was a special pack of, like, uh, 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 indie games that were all made in Britain, or England, or whatever you want to call it. So I bought that, because I mean, who doesn't like English indie games? You have to be crazy. Ah. So, um, I might do a let's play from one of those games. I actually haven't played any of them yet, so if I do do a let's play, probably gonna be just like me the first time playing it um I don't know <laughs> it might not be any good at all I suspect that at least some of the games will be good so yeah oh see we're getting to the end now so Ah, there we go. Time up. That was Philip Glass. This is actually my high score on this. Actually, I think this might be my only score. Because I'm actually recording this on my laptop, on my desktop. Because my laptop is more powerful than my desktop for, like, graphics-wise and stuff. It could run better games with better graphics. Because it's newer. Um, so... Yeah. Let's see. I think I'll just like the free mode. I don't actually know. I think that might be like an infinite. I'll just do a quick three minute one. Wait. Oh, actually, wait, no. They're different by time. So, like, as you can see that. Yeah, I think. I don't know how you unlock the next one. I think you have to do better than I did. But yeah, I haven't unlocked any other songs. So we'll just do one more quick three minute one on Philip Glass. The board's the same size. Just make as many quads as you possibly can. As you can see, it may look easy at like first glance. But it's very strategic. Oh, I should have placed that there. I misclicked. Ooh, that was a nice one.
Like this is gonna be a good quad if I finish it correctly in time. No, no. Ah. Oh. See, that was a good. That was a really good quad that I had there. Yeah, I really love this game. It's just so, like... It has, like... It's not, like... It has, like... I wouldn't say no visuals, but... I, th You know what I mean, like, as in... It's more faced... It's more based on sound... Than what it looks like. And yet, it's just so beautiful. Just in the sound. So, I should definitely check this game out. I'll have a link to this game on Steam. I don't know how much it is, but... It is, like, it's probably maybe like $5, probably less than that. I don't actually know the exact price. Fortunately, it's probably a lot underpriced for what this game should be worth, because this game, it's, it's beautiful. So we're coming down to the last 30 seconds now. As you can see, you have your coverage meter up here, your time there, your high score, and your current score. If I don't make a quad soon, I'm probably going to lose my multiplier. You make a quad quickly. There, good. We made a quad. Yeah, so they don't have to be squares, as you could probably see. So as you can see, we actually got some extra time from getting that coverage bonus, I believe. I believe that's what it was from. Oh no, we just lost our multiplier. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna... Ugh. Yeah, so their time up. I don't know if that was a high... Actually, it would have to be a high score. Because is the first time we ever played a... Three minute one on this one. So there we go. That's a very nice score there. And that concludes Chime. Very simple, very beautiful, very elegant, and it does have achievements. Um, the regular, uh, do it does have online leaderboards and stuff like that. And I think the free mode is just like an infinite, just see how high you get your score before your head explodes. I don't know. Probably something like that. I've never unlocked it. <laughs> but I'm not very good at this game, if you haven't already noticed from me saying it like 20 times. So yeah, that's that. This is Chime. I am the Wonderful Waffle. Goodbye.